Hello, my name is Matt and I'll be your nurse today. Hi, I'm Kendall. Um, can you please say your name and date of birth? My name is Kendall Yuka and I was born on July 18th, 1995. Uh, so you must be in college then? Yeah, I am. What's your major? Oh, I'm a nursing major. It's super fun. Do you live nearby your school? Um, no, like not really. <laughs> Does that affect any uh, stress levels or anything? No, you get pretty used to it after a while. I mean, it's kind of sad when you can't really go home for breaks, but you find friends sure. and it's okay. <laughs> That's completely understandable. Um, so everything we'll do today will be kept confidential and will only be shared with any health professionals assigned to you. Okay. Um, do you have any questions before we begin? No, not that I can think of. All right. Um, so to begin with, can you rate how you feel your health is on a scale from one to 10, one being poor and 10 being excellent? Well, I think I'm kind of at a four because my motivation and energy levels to do what I really love to do has like really decreased and I, I just don't really feel so great because I don't understand how to change my lifestyle around my new dietary restrictions. Sure. Um, can you be more specific on what you mean by your new dietary restrictions? Well, I mean, I was just recently diagnosed with celiac disease, so it's just kind of confusing on what I can and can't eat. All right. Uh, I understand your concern. Um, so let's talk about some background information that um, led up to when you were diagnosed. Okay, so in my first year of college, last year, I was really stressed all the time. I had really bad stomach pains. I always was really, really tired and I couldn't stay awake and I couldn't focus on anything. And it was really hard for me to keep up with like all my sports and extracurriculars. And then I went to the doctor and they ran some tests and I came back positive for celiac disease. Okay, uh, at the time when you were diagnosed, were you aware of what celiac disease was? Um, no, I wasn't really sure and I'm so slightly confused, but I just really want to take care of my problems so I can get back to 100% again. Okay, I understand your diagnosis can be confusing if you don't have enough information. Uh, my goal today is to help you find new ways to manage your health as you adapt to your new lifestyle. Uh, let's get started by finding out how you perceive your illness. Okay, that works for me. So you told me what your symptoms were before your diagnosis. And now can you explain to me what you're experiencing today that made you come seek medical advice? Well, I'm still having that really bad stomach pain and it's still hard for me to keep up with my studying and school because I can still be really tired. It's really hard to keep up with my peers during like all like my sports and stuff. Okay. Uh, so what I'm understanding is that your daily activities are affected by your illness and you're having trouble implementing what your doctor first advised you to do? Yeah. All right. Do you know what caused your diagnosis? Well, I think what my doctor said was that it was stress. Okay. So your doctor says it was stress induced. What do you think caused your illness? Well. I think it's because I've just eaten so much gluten in like my whole life because before track meets you have all those like pasta parties and there's just general carb loading and then it's just, I just don't think my body could handle it anymore. Okay. Well gluten is in a lot of food nowadays so what you think is definitely a possibility. To help us get a better point of view, can you rate how you feel about your health now versus how you can help get to where you want to be? Yeah. Um, right now it's really hard for me to keep up with my peers, so I feel like if I can start feeling better and get more energy, then I can keep up with them again and that would really benefit me in the long run. Okay. I would love to help you reach your goals because I can tell you're very motivated to get your health back to where you want it to be. Um, can you tell me what sports and activities you were involved in? Yeah, um, I participate in track through school and usually when I'm at home, I surf in my free time. Okay. Surfing and track are great activities to stay in shape, so that's a good way to keep up with your health management. Uh, so as you said previously, you don't feel like you're effectively treating your illness. Could you tell me what goals you think will help you improve your health that differ from what you're doing now? Yeah. Um, I'm having a really hard time identifying what does and doesn't have gluten in it. So I think if I could 
understand that more, then that would help me a lot. Okay, so how do you feel this issue is currently attributing to uh, the progression of your treatment? Um, I feel like it's prolonging my treatment because I feel like I'm constantly doing something wrong, like with reading food labels or how I cook something, and then it's just really complicated and it's one of the reasons I think my symptoms aren't going away. That's a completely common concern for newly diagnosed people. Um, so do you feel like there's a better way to go about shopping and preparing the food that you eat? Well, I mean, I guess they have like apps and I can read food labels more in depth, right? Sure. Uh, paying attention to food labels is a great step towards uh, a more effective treatment process. But a major thing while looking at food labels is to look for the ingredients that you should avoid. Uh, did your doctor tell you what ingredients uh, you should be looking for when reading food labels? Yeah, he said wheat and gluten. Good, those are surely things to avoid with someone with your condition. Uh, can you tell me what kind of support system you have to help keep you on track with your dietary needs and health goals? Yeah, um, well since I said I don't really live near home, my mom sends me like gluten-free snacks and recipes okay. and stuff and then my friends have noticed like that I don't really work out as much anymore so they try and get me to go to the gym and they'll they'll cook food with me and they try and just get me more motivated. Well great. It seems like you have a really solid support system which is another key component to reaching the health goals you've set for yourself. Um, now I'm going to ask you some questions about how you manage your health. Okay. Can you tell me what you do generally when you have a health problem and what makes you seek medical advice? Yeah, um, a lot of times I'll ask my mom what I should do, like if I should go see a doctor or not, or else I'll just go get some over-the-counter medications and treat like symptoms that super bother me, and if it doesn't go away, then I'll go see a doctor. All right, with the stress of college, it's nice to seek advice from those you trust um, when you aren't feeling well. As far as over-the-counter medications go, I would recommend seeking advice from medical professionals just to get a better idea on how to properly relieve your symptoms. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for next time. I didn't really know that there is like another person I could go to for advice. All right, so how regularly do you go in for exams like blood pressure, pap smears, breast exams, stuff like that? Um. I've been in for blood pressure and I, I check it by myself a lot, but okay. I haven't really been in for anything else. All right. Uh, in the next few years, you should consider regularly going in for those exams. Uh, do you perform any, any self exams such as breast and skin exams? Um, I do breast exams pretty much on a monthly basis, but I've never really done a skin exam before. All right. Um, well, that's a great habit to carry into adulthood. Um, do you have any questions on the proper technique? No, I think I'm okay. I have a chart that explains it. Great. So you said that you surf and run track, uh, which are great ways to stay in shape. Uh, do you do any other activities uh, that you feel help keep you healthy? Yeah, um, I do yoga to keep down my stress levels, and I also like to go on hikes. Well, those are great habits you should keep up. Uh, have you ever taken any drugs, smoked tobacco, or drank alcohol? No, I don't do that type of stuff because it, it just inhibits my schoolwork and track. All right, those are good values. Uh, we're also using this information so that if you choose any of those activities, we can tell you how it will react with certain medications and treatment plans. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Do you have any more questions for me at the moment? No, I think I'm okay. You've been like a lot of help today and everything makes a lot more sense. Good, I'm glad. So to end today, let's recap what we talked about. Keep exercising. It will definitely benefit your overall health. Uh, be aware of food labels because some foods might not necessarily state clearly uh, that it does not have gluten in it. Um, keep, in, keep maintaining your solid support system. It will benefit you in the long run. Also, try not to use too many <coughs> over-the-counter medications. Uh, it can have negative effects on your system. As far as self-exams go, continue to facilitate those, but also um, I would regularly, or I would recommend to regularly visit your physician and you'll gradually start to see your symptoms go away. 
I know we talked about a lot of different things today, so are there any last questions that you may have or anything else you'd like to bring up? Um, no, I think I'm okay. Thanks so much for all the help. Well, great. It was good talking to you.